Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone guys. I'm happy to see you here. We're going to start this video out with a little paint mixing uh, lesson or the way that I do it because I get 10, 15 questions a day about it. And um, it depends on so many things, guys. It depends on the paint you're using, high flow, fluid, two paints, heavy body paints. Every paint is different. Even the same paint lines are different. If I used all golden fluid paints, different colors have different densities and everything gets its individual attention. Now, I'm going to go over the pouring medium that I'm using. Now, I am mixing today for a ring pour. In a ring pour, my paints have to be thicker than in my swipes. My swipe paints are very thin. When you drizzle the paint off the popsicle stick, it leaves almost no trace, no mound. In a technique where I need a thicker paint, <laughs> I want to say thickerer, <laughs> but that's not a word. But who cares? I'm going to use it anyways. <laughs> In a technique where you need a thickerer <laughs> paint, um, the paint folds and rolls off the popsicle stick or whatever it is you're using to stir your paint with and it leaves a mound on a mound on a mound as sweet darling Mina would say. So we're preparing paint today for a ring pour where I need thicker paints, thicker paints so that my composition holds its lines. If you're going to be swiping, you want a thinner paint. So as you swipe across your paints, they blend and move much easier. So let's talk about my pouring medium. Um, for a thicker paint, I use a different pouring medium. Now, I always start out with my GAC 800 because GAC 800 is important to me. Let me tell you a little bit about GAC 800. Here's the bottle. And what does it say on that bottle? It, reduce, it reduces crazing and cracking um, for your golden fluid acrylic paints or any fluid um, acrylic paint, any paint. So my GAC 800 helps with cracking and crazing. I very rarely get a crack in my paint. I very rarely get crazing in my paint and I attribute that to GAC 800. Now I have GAC 800 in this little cup right here. We're just going to put it inside. I have in, where's my, oh, my other pouring medium that I always use is a combination of Liquitex pouring medium and Flood Floetrol. This is the Liquitex that I use with the black label. What does Liquitex do? It's designed to reduce crazing in poured acrylics. It dries clear, glossy, and flexible, and it's not yelling, non-yellowing. That's why I use Liquitex. Flood Floetrol. Why do I use Flood Floetrol? Because that's how I learned to do acrylic pouring. And in, in the beginning, I just used Flood Floetrol and paints. But as I explored other artists, as I explored myself, I came to add other additives into my acrylic pours. Why do I use Flood Floetrol? I use Flood Floetrol. Let me tell you what it's for. It's a latex paint additive that makes interior or exterior latex or acrylic paints flow and level off. It helps with leveling. If you put this in your paints, your paints become self-leveling. So all of these additives do different things and after a lot of playing, practicing, and experimenting I came up with my pouring medium which is usually 
50% Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium, and always, no matter what technique I'm doing, a squirt of GAC 800. So, but today we are also using another product. We are using Mix Pour. Sweet Krista um, can supply you with this by emailing her at Krista8974 at gmail.com. Why do I use Mix Pour? It's archival. So is Liquitex. So is GAC 800. Flood Floetrol is not. It's archival. So you don't have to varnish or resin your paintings after they have dried. I still do, it's extra protection. But Mix Pour has got a very dense, thicker <laughs> density to it. So I use that to thicken up my paint. So I am going to mix a paint up real quick for you. I'm not using this, it in this pour because I have another color scheme going on, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. So, oh, but before I do, let me show you the difference in these pouring mediums. The first one I'm going to put on this paper plate is GAC 800. I want you to see the different density of the pouring medium itself. The second one is my combination. I keep a big jug right next to me, a 50% Liquitex pouring medium and 50% Floetrol. That's my go-to pouring medium plus a squirt of GAC 800. So I keep a big container of it next to me. This is the Liquitex and the Flood Floetrol. Let's go ahead and put that next to the GAC 800. There we go. So we have GAC 800, we have the Liquitex and the Flood Floetrol. This is my mix pour. It's thicker. <laughs> And I'm not even sure that this little squeegee is going to suck it up. So I'm just going to put a little dollop because a dollop will do you right there. And just so we're consistent, where's my GAC? I need a little bit more of the GAC. There we go. So we have a GAC 800. Kathleen's go-to pouring medium, which is 50% uh, Floetrol and 50% of Liquitex pouring medium. And we have the mixed pour, which I add to my paints when I want them thicker. <laughs> so I know this is a white plate, but let's go ahead and tilt that. Can you see the difference in the consistencies? Of course you can. GAC 800, it's a thin pouring medium. Liquitex pouring medium, it's a thin pouring medium. Mix pour, much, much thicker. So these two together are my go-to. This mix pour right here is my go-to when I need to thicken up my paints. So how do I mix my paints? I start with my cup. I always put a dabble do ya of my GAC 800. Basically, I just add enough to cover the bottom of that cup. There you go. Then I add my paint. Now I decided to use a medium body tube paint because the majority of you all use tube paints. So we're gonna go ahead and put, if I got it in here, about a half an ounce or a <laughs> half an ounce of the PBO Studio acrylics and the iridescent precious gold. So there you go. That's enough to get us started. Now, before I add anything else to it, I mix that GAC 800 up in it real nice and good. Makes a real nice heavy paste. There you have it. Then I add my 
combined Liquitex and Floetrol to it. And I hope I'm not making your head spin, guys. We're going to add about two ounces of that. So one part paint, two parts pouring medium. It's not rocket science, guys. If you stir it up and you want your color to be a little bit more brilliant, you add a little bit more paint. If you think you can add more pouring medium, add more pouring medium to it. It's not rocket science. I don't measure. Now take a look at that. See that? It's got a nice creamy consistency, but it's not leaving a blob on a blob on a blob. And I need a blob on a blob on a blob. So I start adding my mixed pour to this. Now this would be perfect if I put a dash of water in it for my swipes, but we're doing a ring pour today. This stuff is intense. It is thick. You do not need much. So you start out real slow. I'd say about an eighth of a tablespoon or teaspoon. There you go. And we stir and we stir. Now I am stirring quickly for you because I don't want to take up a lot of your time with this. But if it was just me taking my time, it takes me about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes to get all my paints ready, guys. I go slow. Let's take a look at that now. I need it just a little bit thicker. So we add just a dollop. There you go. Now, on the mixed pour bottle, it says you can do one part paint up to seven parts of the mixed pour. And when do I ever take advantage of that? When I'm running low on my expensive fluid paints. So I put about two to three ounces of the mixed pour in a cup and I drizzle a few drops of my fluid paints into it and it goes a long way. And there you have it, a nice creamy consistency that kind of folds over on itself. There you go. That's pretty. Now, once again, it's thicker because I need thicker paints because I am doing a ring pour. And if your paints are thick, they tend to hold their lines a little bit better. So I'm actually doing a bunch of combination techniques on this painting. So let me clean this area up, guys, and then I'll be right back at you. So I am back. We are working today, guys, on a gallery wrap 24 by 30 inch canvas. And unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see a little bit of the top part, but I'll do my best to show it to you periodically. And we've got some yummy come up colors. I am painting this for my home in the grays and blacks and pearls and silvers. I did a swipe the other day that I was really happy with, so I thought I'd come down here and give it another go. What are we working with? Well, we're working with several things. And this big old container right here is Artist Loft in the soft body white mixed with my 50% Liquitex, 50% Floetrol, and a splash of GAC 800. There is no mixed pour in my base coat colors because I want them to not be as thick. I need them to be thinner. <laughs> so let's take a look at that. It leaves very little trace when the paint rolls off the popsicle stick into the paint booth below. Same with this paint right here. Let's take a look at that. Very little trace. That is Artist Loft Soft Body in the black. Once again, these are my base coat colors. Look at this yummy goodness, guys. I love this paint. I can't get enough. There's a better shot right there of the thinness of our base coat colors. That right there is my DecoArt Metallics, and that is their silver. 
and I added to it the last bit of what I had of the Decor Metallics in the sterling silver. It is a beautiful silver, guys. I am very, very fond of it. Um, what else? Those are our base coat colors, the Artist Loft White, the Artist Loft Bat Black, and the Deco Art Silver mixed with Deco Art Sterling Silver. What do we got going on right here? We've got some yummy goodness. Let's start with this cup right there. That's Golden Acrylics. And that is their Iridescent Pearl. Now, this is a heavy body paint. I don't know if you can see that, but... Um, I use the golden in the fluid paints, the golden in the high flow paints, the golden in the medium body paints, and the golden in the heavy body paints. It depends on the technique that you want to use. Let's look at this consistency. This is the Splash of GAC 800, my pouring medium, which is Liquitex and Floetrol. And then once I get that all stirred up, I start to add my mix pour until it has a consistency that flows over itself. I hope your head is not spinning. <laughs> this right here is Artist Loft Soft Body and um, in the black. Now, I had two of these tiny little containers that I keep leftover paints in and I'm pretty sure that this is leftover from me uh, practicing my bloom swipes. So there might be a little bit of Aussie Floetrol in there. I'm not sure and I don't care. If something cool happens, then wonderful. This right here is an absolutely beautiful paint. That is this Little Piggies and that is their Galaxy. I love this paint. It's a black silver combination that is absolutely gorgeous. Now this is mixed a little bit different. After you put your um, your pigments into your cup, you moisten it with a little bit of the Josanya gloss varnish. Just to moisten it up, and then I add my pouring medium, 50% Liquitex, 50% Floetrol, and a squirt of GAC 800. Then I add my mixed pour to get it to the thickness that I am looking for. This right here is Golden Fluids in the Iridescent Silver. And this yummy goodness right here is this little piggy, and that is their Meteorite. Fun stuff, guys. I'm going to be doing um, maybe some flip cupping with my base coat colors because they are thinner and then possibly a traveling ring pour with my thicker paints. <laughs> Enough chatty Kathy here, guys. Happy you're here. Let's put some tunes on. Let's dance around. Let's try to make a really pretty painting. I want to do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no brake lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. This or that. Getting drunk on whiskey on a Tuesday night. I'm drinking well I'm by.
Drinking red wine by an open fire Make love a fight This or that This or that Evening's on the train I'll catch a morning fly Enjoying dinner until midnight On bed by night This or This or This or Just say yes, choose to do whatever comes next 